Evening everyone. It's been lovely and hot here today, but cooler this evening, so great time to get the first lot of dahlias in. And I've, I've got a nice orange-themed bed here. I've got a couple, um, these two vigorous ones that are lovely orange pom-poms, but I've lost the name in the mists of time. But I've also got uh, labyrinth, uh, tropical, and the tiny one in the front is totally tangerine. So they put on lots of lovely growth being in the greenhouse for so long. And the Sarah Raven advice is to, if you've got uh, dahlias with lots and lots of stems, take them back to about five or seven strong ones. And that means they're not uh, wasting too much energy making lots and lots of shoots. And also to pinch them out. Uh, although I must admit, I don't always do that because it does delay flowering a bit. And if you use them for cuttings, as I've done with some of these ones over here, uh, by taking the tops out you've kind of already pinched them out and you don't want to delay it too much. In terms of planting uh, what's very important for big plants like these and any large plants is you've got to get them really really well watered underneath so soak the pot the plant in the pot first that's very important because it's amazingly difficult to get water through to a root ball after you've planted it so that's why all those ones are sitting in trays uh, while they're waiting to go in being watered dig a lovely big hole um, always plant in a puddle so at least a can full of water into the bottom of the hole before you put it in and then I'm also for the ongoing watering using these pipes which are sunk into the hole so they're right under the root ball so any water you put in afterwards goes right down into the root ball. These are, it's about that sort of length of um, plumber's pipe which you can get from any plumber's merchant and that really helps to keep them watered. And then after that it's really a, a question of uh, keeping an eye um, and waiting for them to flower. So more tomorrow.